0.539. So today we are going to this kind of, I don't even know how to describe it, a little bit of a creepy looking area. And I found this historic graveyard there. Um, it looks like it has some interesting little hidden corners in it. I'm not exactly sure what we're gonna find once again as usual. But um, I'm hoping to uh, discover something uh, semi-historical, uh, something exciting there. I'm not really sure, but we're going to take a chance here, take kind of a risk, because I really have no proof at this point that we're going to find anything at all. So uh, just going on a feeling. left beyond the borders or again if there was an older set of borders here and it's just been um, sort of redesigned over the years all right let's walk over here real quick I mean, I can tell somebody's actually been over here recently, propped it up. Again, like we saw at the restoration site uh, with a little two by four here. So it's kind of lost, but not really. It makes me wonder though, already you can see the line here of the brush. So it kind of looks a little bit suspect whether or not there's way more back there. But let's uh, walk around the edges here, uh, grab some of the historical items on film, and then, yeah, just uh, kind of see what we run into. Uh, somebody's been piling dirt right there. That might just be a pile from when they dig the actual graves, though. But here is something that looks like a veteran's grave from probably 1800s uh, this is actually yeah late 1800s uh, spanish american war so yeah i kind of found this place weeks ago when i was out uh filming some of the recent episodes that you've been seeing and i just got a weird feeling about it i felt like this is an interesting, fascinating place, and that there might be a few mysteries that uh, are back here, and already, wow, um, it is paying off. I found in the distance here one of the metal markers, but never have I seen a metal statue on top of it. It's huge. Let's head over this way. It just goes to prove, like, some of these places just look really similar from the road and you really can't tell how deep they are or what you're going to find back here but this is epic and i see some stuff starting to fall down this other side of the hill not quite falling yet but could be a problem in the future and like we saw at the cemetery that i discovered the ritual at 
uh, you can see that whoever this is is depicted with an anchor and so it might be a sign that they were or somebody in the family was in the, the Navy but wow only thing I'm seeing is if you notice very small at the top people have actually climbed up and inscribed their own names into it you can see on the neck there and below are different people's names and I would say there's probably no association uh, excuse me no association whatsoever with the actual family And somebody's also put a little uh, braided fabric uh, bracelet of some sort, too. And even more names have been written on the back, it looks like in pencil. And you can see the symbol for the Order of the Eastern Star. Oh, and I didn't even notice. Wow, this one is heavily graffitied, but fortunately none of it is really showing up that well. Huh. Let's keep walking down the hill here. This is what I was talking about. You can see they have been propped up over the years, but, um... I'm not sure how well you can see on camera. I'll try and get it from the back. I'm holding the camera level and you can see the angle that this is uh, sitting at here. So it's definitely seeing some major, well, looks like major erosion damage. Obviously, again, it has been fixed at one point. And this is one of those areas that I was talking about. I kind of could tell from the map when I looked at it today before I came over and so I'm wondering if anything has made its way uh, further into the brush sort of like we saw right when uh, I got out of the car or excuse me was actually driving up to this place and you can see pretty easily into the brush here and the original fence line is right down this way so there is a chance at stuff being back here. Very uh, interesting and famous last name there. I'm not sure if there's any relation to the famous Firestones from uh, Firestone Tire. I don't really know uh, much about that, but pretty uh, cool find back here. A little pathway leading down here to even yet a deeper part of this little corner. And we are butted up right against the fence line right now. And I'm not sure if this is man-made or something that animals have done, but there is a like lake of some sort this way and something has either chewed through or cut through the fence, probably cut through actually. I would almost assume that it's people because I don't know that deer is, are going to uh, cut through a metal fence. At any rate, no headstones seem to have fallen that way. Although I wanna check one area that I think I may have missed here. But um, first, let's uh, check down this side of the hill here. So I don't see a fence line here. I'm trying to actually establish where it might be based on where it should come around. But wow, it's incredible looking back here. I almost hope this is part of it and that we can find some more stuff. Here's a trail here, but I honestly, 
I don't think... I'm not positive this is associated with this place. And again, I'm having a problem finding the fence line. So let's uh, go back up here and see if we can uh, locate it again and then follow that. This one here looks like eventually if this tree keeps growing, it will suffer the same fate as a lot of the uh, stones that we've been finding recently. Oh, nearly hidden marker here, kind of in between the rows. Wow. It might be a deer. Either that or it's a person. I heard something big in the brush. I don't see any people though. Either that or it's the wind blowing just right. Which made a huge noise. So that's why, even though it's quite a strong breeze today, I'm just kind of uh, doubting that that's the case. So these are mid 1800s in the 1870s here. And it is mixed with some things from the mid-1900s. So far, not the oldest place that we've been to. However, a pretty fascinating location so far. But uh, I need to actually head back this way. We're going to take this little old pathway here down. It is incredibly hot today. I don't know how long I'm going to be able to do this without my uh, camera overheating. Or uh, me overheating. It's like mid-90s pretty much 100% humidity out, uh, just terrible feeling. Oh, there is stuff in here too. Look at that. Huh. It's so dirty right now, and it's wet from the rain, so it's almost impossible to clean off without a hose. Very interesting to see how many are hidden. This isn't too bad here, but I think at one time it was a lot worse. Um, as you can see from right here, there's so many uh, sort of ground, not ground level as in design that way, but they're currently at or near ground level and just flat. And um, the color here of the brush is a sign that they've actually come in and sprayed it with something to clear it out. So actually a good sign. And we can see it right here too. So it looks like recently, or fairly recently at least, uh, there's been some major work done to make this place look better. It definitely is still a little ways to go, but not that that's an issue. All right, we're gonna head down to the end of the row here, uh, both to kind of scan the edges and get a little bit of shade because it is just melting out here. All right, I feel like I am. Um, I don't know if this is potentially a row marker right there. I see a bunch of spider webs. I'm gonna try and get a little ways in here to see if I can see anything, but nothing so far.
well. And right here it looks like they had to partially uncover uh, these two here and following it on down see lots more spraying has been done to uh, uncover these from brush This might be another area here uh, that we find some stuff in the brush. I want to check over this way, but uh, this is a really big memorial here, uh, similar to the metal in a stone one we found just earlier. And just incredible the size of these things and what uh, we would consider now just a what from the road I guess would look like a small little country graveyard but um, again the fence line goes way deep down in here and there's even sort of a pathway so it makes me wonder if this was the original edge so I want to find a way to get down in there and uh, search around a little bit since it is part of the graveyard here uh, it shouldn't be a problem. There's a little bit of movement on some of the bases here. Uh, obviously, especially uh, when we get closer to the edge of the hill here. And then this sort of opens up into another little corner here. Um, I'm gonna go over this way though. We'll find our way around. But uh, first, I'm going to check out this little installation here, which uh, has had an interesting uh, restoration job. I'm trying to figure out if this is just... It looks like it might be flex tape. And, yeah, it's like rubber tape. And it has this uh, metal, uh, rubber coated uh, metal wire here to hold it together. And uh, at the top, you can see where it's actually been glued straight to the back of this other stone. And obviously this one over here has either been done well before and doesn't need support it anymore, or they just sort of left the support behind for whatever reason. Yeah, let me know your thoughts. Not necessarily a bad thing, so don't think that I'm like uh, judging or anything. Just uh, making observations. Uh, here's another one too where they've done something similar, but it kind of looks like instead of using four different stones, they actually used the bottom sections and sort of just cut them in half. Wow, this hill is incredibly steep. So, about 30 feet at least down is uh, the road that we drove in on. And kind of keeping an eye out down the hill here, almost expecting to find something. Um, I don't know. All right, here's the pathway though that I was talking about before. So let's go ahead and take that back. Uh, you can see the fence here. So let's see if anything's actually hidden back here. 